Now, Northwest Tonight was today allowed inside one of the Liverpool schools mass testing pupils for COVID-19. The head teacher there told us that the rapid test results should help schools get back to normal. Here's our Merseyside reporter, Andy Gill. Year 11 pupils at Gattaca School in Liverpool queue up for their COVID-19 tests. They're having one of the new fast lateral flow tests, which give a result in less than an hour. 12 secondary schools are taking part in the pilot scheme to test as many people as possible who live or work in the city. We spoke to two of the students who had their tests this morning. Yeah, definitely worth doing. You know, obviously we have to keep safe because you don't want to get coronavirus. So obviously, especially in a big school, you don't want it to spread. So I think it's great. I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, there could be a vaccine, so you never know. Freya and Lilia, both in year nine, had their tests earlier. I'd like to stay in school and like go back to normal and all that. So when everyone's like done with the test, then it'll be better. I think it's very important because if we've got it and we're spreading it round um, unconsciously, then it's you know it's not helping anyone. Since Friday, 50,000 people have come forward in the pilot scheme. More than 200 were positive. The scheme involves asking people without symptoms to be tested. It's hoped that'll limit the spread of the virus by identifying as many infected but asymptomatic people as possible. They should then self-isolate and so break chains of transmission. Here's an example of why this project is so important in terms of getting back to normal. Separately from this testing programme, one of the six formers here has tested positive for coronavirus. It means the entire sixth form, 100 students or so, must now work away from school for the next fortnight. As parents, as students, as teachers, as, as community at large, we want to return to a normal functioning school. And if, we, if this testing um, enables that to happen sooner rather than later, then brilliant, let's, let's bring it on, let's, let's, let's be part of that testing process. Maria's son in year nine had his test a couple of days ago. I feel like it's a really important step for the parents of Liverpool to take to accept for the child to be tested. I understand it isn't a perfect test, but at this stage I feel like it's more important that we have some information that we have none. The thousand pupils at Gattaca will have a second test after a week. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Pass that to somebody through the window, they should be along soon to uh, expand your test to you. Yeah. Test centres have even been set up in schools in Liverpool. Data published today from the ONS shows the highest rates of infection are amongst young people, many of whom have no symptoms. You should just take it, there's nothing wrong, it, there's got nothing to lose from taking it. It just gives people a better um, opportunity to see who um, is getting the virus and how many people are carrying it. So far, the parents of less than half of the students here have agreed to a test. None of those 400 came back as positive. Have any said no, though? Um, a number have said no, but because they've done the, the community testing at the weekend, so they said no, thanks very much. We've, had, we've already done it as, as a family, and they've been part of that process throughout the community, which have, is what we want to buy into. Have any said no because they don't agree with their child being tested at school? A, f a small number, but it is a very, very small number. Next, the Bank of England Bank of schools where a mass COVID testing pilot is taking place it says they've had a fantastic response. Most pupils at Gattaca School in Liverpool have opted to find out if they have the virus. All well, now from our Merseyside correspondent Andy Bond. These teenagers are the latest to line up to have a COVID test. Like those going to walk-in centres across Liverpool this week, they're not showing any signs of coronavirus but they hope the results will show they definitely are not infectious and aren't unwittingly spreading the disease. Gattaca School is one of 13 taking part in the pilot. Targeting school is a fantastic idea in terms of enabling students to be tested, but keeping them back into school. So if, if we could help in, in any way uh, for a national picture to enable schools nationally to, lay, to learn from what Liverpool are doing fantastically well, then that'd be brilliant. Students can take the voluntary test with their parents' permission. The army is on hand to help, but it is the teenagers themselves who take the swab. Results are back in minutes. 
Some people were a bit nervous because they'd never had a test before. But most of us were like reassuring them because some of us had that one and we knew that it was okay. So we were like, and none of us had symptoms, so we were like, it's, you know, probably not going to test positive and it'll be fine. If you get a test, not only you're helping yourself, you're helping everybody around you. So if you get positive, you can go home and you're not endangering anybody else. So it's helping um, the whole of Liverpool, not just yourselves as well. There was no blueprint for this pilot, but the schools have learned from each other's experiences as the week has progressed. Gattaca's head says a large number of students have been tested. Maria's son was initially sceptical, but she wanted him to take part. There's quite a lot of information out there saying that the test shouldn't be done, that it's not accurate enough, and I'm educated enough to understand that. At the same time, I'd rather have a 70% chance of having a correct result rather than not having a test at all. I think it's important that people in Liverpool do take up the pilot test so that, that information can be gathered. The military helped the school set up this test centre in days and will soon move on to others. But they will return to take follow-up tests in the very near future. Andy Bonner, ITV News, Liverpool. Meanwhile, the head of a Liverpool secondary school says parents are backing coronavirus testing for their children. Gattaca School is one of a dozen where the army has been deployed to assist with the city's mass testing programme. No pupil can be tested without parental consent, and Gareth Jones says the youngsters have been playing their part to help reduce transmission of the virus. They've been superior to be honest. Credit, credit to them and, and their parents to be fair, because they, it, it's not pleasant for those of you who've, who've, who've done the test, and they have bought into it massively. They, I wouldn't say that they've enjoyed it, but they've, they're up for it, and they've, and they've done it, and they've come out with a smile on their face saying, can't wait to see me negative result come back afterwards. Let's head to Liverpool now, talk to Gareth Jones. He's a head teacher at the Gateacre School in Liverpool. And last week they had a testing site there at the school. Morning, Gareth. Good morning, how are you doing? Really well, thank you for being on. Thank you for hanging on as well, what stuff blathered about Christmas trees. Uh, so how did it work uh, for you at the school in Liverpool? Um, well, Friday last, I got a phone call from the Head Teacher Association which said would you be prepared for the school for the uh, roll out the government roll out for, for um, actual flow testing within the schools and within an hour or so the army turned up the front door and came along and had a look at the site and by Monday the following, morning, the following week they were setting up for telephone conversations with the military and entity association over the weekend but essentially by the Monday the army rolled up and put up 12 booths within our talent studio here in the school and then as Monday evolved and as you were saying before it, there's, there's no there's no guidance this at the moment so essentially it's, it's been written as um, as the pilot was rolled out last week so by Tuesday lunchtime testing started for our students here at school and um, essentially oh sorry go on I just wonder how you organise that with all your students and staff <laughs> well we sent out the uh, weekend before last we sent out consent forms electronically to parents and they were um, they came back to us which we can then filter and so on and so forth so every child who consented uh, via our app that were then able to, to be tested systematically during last week. So they started tested on the Tuesday lunchtime and finished by the Thursday afternoon. It's a secondary and school, is it? It's a secondary school, yeah. yeah. And that included staff and the students. So they tested students all the way from year seven all the way up to 13. How many students did you did you test and what were the results like? Uh, we didn't get any we didn't get any positives thankfully fingers crossed we all we got um, all negatives it tested the majority of our students who'd given consent and that varied on a, on a day-to-day basis some parents then as, as, it, as it, um, the week went on we'd then turn around and say okay yes please could you, we didn't originally um, reply and then uh, they sent consent form through so we uh, so we were talking we took about half the population of the school who had the lateral flow test in the, other parents replied to say, no thanks, we've we've had a test via the community test-based system. Uh, venues are scattered around the city. So on the, between the two, the majority of our students have now been tested. So here we are in Nottingham, we've not started on this process yet, and it probably won't be quite the scale that you've had it in Liverpool, but what, what would your advice be for us here in Nottingham as we're working out how we do it? To, to get on board and to join in, to be honest, because at the end of the day, if you, Nottingham, similar to Liverpool, have had a high... Um, infection rate and therefore if anything that's coming as an initiative to reduce that infection rate and, and help people um, go about their normal and return to normal business, go about their normal business and return to normal, it's, it's all for, I'm all for it to be honest, that would be the message from certainly from Liverpool would be to, to embrace it and to, and to take on board. Okay, well that's good to hear. And how did they get on with actually doing the tests? Was it, is it up the nose? 
nose, is it, or down the throat? Or? It, was, it was both. Um, the students didn't like it at all in terms of the physical uh, nature of the test itself. But, it's, but they were stars, to be fair to them. They, they stood up and said, yeah, we'll do it because of the reason why we said, in terms of re trying to reduce that infection rate. So, yeah, it was um, at either side of the tonsils at the back and then up one nostril, 10 seconds, wiggling around high as you possibly can. And then it was handed back to one of the military um, through the window in the booth. And they tested it, to th they tested it initially to see whether it, um, it was a, a, a sound test. And then within 20 minutes, the students then had a, um, we as a school had an email to say that they were either positive or negative. And as I said, in all cases, they're all negative. Really interesting. Gareth, well, I mean, I, what a year. I was just thinking, if somebody told you on New Year's Day, at your school, you're going to have the army in. We're going to have booths testing all the kids for some <laughs> new virus. It's just incredible, isn't it, what's happened? It is, and it's just it's evolving week by week. I've got colleagues who are now into phase two, so you know, the, I've got meetings this afternoon in terms of guiding them and, and sharing the information that we, we gained last week, which are, no, which are now rolling out to the next season of schools. So it is, it's, it's constantly evolving each day you come into work, you don't know what's going to happen, particularly when you get um, a phone call or an email from a parent to say now there's, there's some other daughter or um, I'm, receiving, I'm receiving positive tests um, through the, P, the PRC, never mind the lateral flow, and then you've then got to roll, roll out um, sending students home, which is an awful thing to do, but essentially to, to reduce the infection rate, we've got to do it. It's been really good to talk to you. Thank you. I must be so tricky. I don't envy you, but what a job you're doing. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, love it. The Scouts are on the show. I've got the soft spot for Scouts. Uh, Gareth Jones, the head teacher at Caretaker School in Liverpool. It's BBC Radio Nottingham. Morning. We want